Hi, John here. Today is uh, Wednesday, the 7th of May, uh, 7th of June 2017. I'm just going to ring Bundy White Eye. Hello Bundy, John Wanoa here. Just leave a message after no. the tone, then hang up or press the hash key. Hi Bundy, John Wanoa here. Um, I'm just uh, um, making contact with Britain now. Uh, the elections on on uh, the 8th and uh, um, I just want to catch the moment with uh, uh, Theresa May and write to her and the Navy as well to set up um, the visit there while we're waiting for a decision from Sue with the funding um, at this stage. Um, um, everything, everything's okay <coughs> but I just want to let you know that we'll, we'll have a meeting at some stage. I think you might have another meeting up north um, at the present time. Um, um, what is happening here? Um, oh, some speaker. Okay. Uh, so I'm hoping to um, be in contact with you to put some legal papers together uh, for here and as well as to go over there to represent the Paramount Chiefs. And um, uh, so that's the next stage. I've finished everything I wanted to. Uh, apart from the carving, I'm going to do a rundown on the carving on a video just to explain it. Um, and that's the title. Um, and so that's everything done. Uh, it's just the uh, funding now and the setting up the vis visits to uh, Britain and to the World Court. We're going to the World Court as well. Uh, there's a lot uh, I want to say, but I um, uh, just need to do it a little bit at a time. Um, especially the World Court, that's King William III's of, um, domain with the Freemasons operating out of there and the Queen as well. She's abdicated from or left or abandoned. Thanks. Your message is recorded. To listen to your message, press 1. To re record your message, press 2. Or just hang up if you're done. Oh, shucks. I didn't realise that. I should have switched it off. Um, uh, so, anyway, I'll carry on with this. I was just talking to uh, Bundy. Um, so anyway, uh, we will uh, put our um, agenda together and a um, format of things that we're going there for you to talk and for me to talk as well. But we are looking at the greater picture of the um, Magistrate Court and the means of <coughs> uh, King William III um, in Br Brussels, uh, that side of uh, this flag, and also King William IV in Westminster. At this stage, our contract lies with Westminster and our court hearings uh, rest with Brussels and our authority to walk in there with this flag. That's what we want to do is go and open up the court there to um, address our position on this commercial um, contract um, business uh, that we're going to set up and reassert our authority as the other partner in business. Okay, I think you know that. Uh, so that's all for now. Um, I just better get on with it and start writing the letters so I get into the mood to write letters to Theresa May, uh, Theresa May and um, <clears throat> I think she's going to win the elections um, coming up on the 8th, uh, that's Thursday, their time, Thursday, tomorrow, our time. Um, and um, um, congratulations to her for if, for winning. I've got more confidence in what how she talks and presents herself as being uh, someone that I can rely on to put these... Uh, issues through Westminster and to capitalise on it both for us and her government <coughs> to recover all the debts that we say are owed to us 
to keep our business going between here and Britain with this flag of continuity of sovereignty of 183 years still there. Okay, so all I want to say is we're taking this flag there with our birth certificates at 1831 in Tiki Tiki um, Church, the St. Mary's Church, and also the Manukau's birth certificate titles to show as proof that we were in a contract on that premise and jurisdiction of Admiralty as being magistrate that put it together in Tiki Tiki in the church in 1831. <coughs> um, um, births, deaths and marriages. Uh, then Tiki Tiki to Whakawhitira Native Court, the courthouse there, the Native Courthouse, the first Native Courthouse to recognise birth certificates to put onto the stock market while King William IV was running the stock market before he became king in 1830. So between 1820 and 1830, King William was setting up the stock market for the birth certificates and implemented that well before 1830 when he became king. <coughs> we were very much on that playing field as British um, citizen with that birth certificate already in place before the flag became the flag of New Zealand. We were already in a contract. Okay, that's all I want to say, Bundy. So we need to uh, get our heads around that, or rather you need to get your head around it in Kingi and um, Manahi and Hedewini um, on the commercial side, which is where I'm at with the banks. Uh, so we're setting up our bank. Um, that's a oil bank, by the way. And the flag plays a big part in the commerce <coughs> of the bank um, in England, but um, our portion of the Commonwealth uh, of the world under the Queen's um, monarch, which is false, uh, the scone and her coronation was not real. So we're saying we're putting a real king back in, uh, Ernest Augustus V as the king, on our documents, on our documents as our king, uh, to keep it legal and keep our continuity of sovereignty going as our own sovereignty here in New Zealand under our own uh, dual government with Britain the way we're going to run it in parallel with the government in Wellington to keep them as debtors and we're the creditors on this side. There's nothing you can do about it if you don't have any opposition to that. If you can't stand in front of us when we call a meeting on a marae, then you lose because you have nothing against this flag. And I'm warning everyone not to use this flag for any other reason than for this document here. <coughs> and all the titles in this document here, and all the rest of the documents that I've put together with Mohi Manukau, with the Manukau Company title in Scotland, and under British Westminster law. So this is our jurisdiction of the gold trust fund of the Queen Victoria Gold Trust Fund which belongs to us and there it is, there's King William there and there's his flag. There's his flag that he gave us to administer this business with you British people. Okay, so uh, I'm saying to anyone who's uh, flying this flag, for what reason? For what reason? This is the legal reason that we're doing with it for what it's meant to be for. That's why you're broke when you've got no money because you don't know how to do that part of it. Okay? You don't have the titles to do anything with it and just other than fly it around the place. Have no mana or no power in it. Okay? So um, that's all, Bundy. Um, I wanted to call you and let you know. Um, our intentions uh, are going together in place and it's, it's unfortunate that uh, Hemi Whare and, and a few others on the administration there have pulled their emails and asked me to take their emails off. Uh, the list that um, Manahi uh, sent me. <coughs> so I'm um, making reciprocal. I'm trying to communicate with you people and if you pull your name off it means you don't want to be involved with something as important as this, with facts in it, you see. But um, I'm offended by 
anybody has seen it's propaganda. Where did that idea come from in your head? What 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 do you know about these things? About these documents? What 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 do you know? How to run things on a scale like this? You haven't got anything to match it. Is that what you call propaganda? This she's calling this propaganda. What have you got to prove? What have you got to bring everybody together in this world? They're asking for this in Britain. Anybody? They're asking for us to go there for a long time now. I'm just waiting patiently for marriage to wake up. Otherwise, you don't deserve anything. You can battle away with the government of Wellington. They're false. They're fraud. They're pirates. What this land's for. And you, you're flying the flag for what reason? See, Peter Peroni is flying this flag for what reason? It wasn't given to him. It was given to the 13 chiefs for business, for the hapu, not for the iwi. Right? And you're changing from one thing to the other, Hinefare. You've gone from Tuhurunuki, now you jumped on this flag issue with the New Zealand wars. I know all about the wars. I know everything that happened to the Manukau family and the Moriori's. I know I've got it all here to throw in the face of anybody who gets in the road of this flag because Bohi Manukau is this flag. He had every right from England where they put these titles together for this country in Edinburgh, right where King, right where Prince Philip lives in his Edinburgh castle, right under Scottish. That's where all the titles in the world went from, with this flag authority. Right? You don't know these. You don't know it. You only know things up the road, not for the whole country. You'll battle there forever and ever and drag everybody down because you don't want to be involved with something as important as this. You see? And the other administrators. That's why it's going pear-shaped. It'll always go pear-shaped because you, you're there to make it go pear-shaped, right? And I'm annoyed that you can stand there with your big mouth and rattle off this and that and that and got no evidence to stack up from Britain where you got on this land with your Harawada name, Hatfield. You see, you're not real native. You, you go and sit on somebody else's ancestor. I can tell you all about ancestors and surnames. I know who's who and whose big mouth is talking loudest with nothing underneath. Right? I've been with the old guys, Machi Tarawa and Hare Utatonga, Ihari Kake, Dawihungi, and all those fellas, I've been with them and they left me with all their mana and their documents and everything to talk for them, not you, not you, because you got no idea what's inside this flag. I'm saying it because you call it propaganda. You call it propaganda. What the hell have you got that can bring everybody together instead of throwing off at them and writing all over the blackboard and wasting time? You've got to rub that all out. I wouldn't waste my time like that, putting this up. It's true. It's the truth. What, what's wrong with the truth? Why are you running away from the truth? Do you think what I say is not true? You see, every time I go up there, I get 10 minutes to talk about all this lot. The only ones who are listening to me is Bundy, Manahi, and Kingi, and Hiruini Karaka. There's a few others, but they keep to themselves, because they have their own agenda. You're not at the top. This is the Freemasons are going to run right over you. You can't do anything about it. You can go and go and keep going, but you'll never win in the courts because you haven't got the titles. You haven't got the titles. They're in here. The titles are in here. <clears throat> okay, I'm taking my time. It's like a little mad rush to put things together because the people are watching. What do you marry is behave like. If only you could see yourselves 
behaving in that marae. You know why? Because there ain't one. Where's all the carving inside it? Where's, where's it? It's on the other side, the other marae, in the Waitangi marae. All my carvings are in there. Anybody? My carvings are in there. Right? Because the British went straight for my family and the Manukau's family. Didn't come to your family. They went for our family because they knew we got something to offer them that works. <coughs> <coughs> so I'm saying you're duping the whole lot of the Maoris out of their time to say something on that matter. I've seen them come and go in the paddock, back in the paddock and talk in the paddock. They're the ones, the ones that are sitting quiet can't get a word in because your big mouth is talking too much inside that whare. Right? Best to build another one in the paddock. That was that we are had the hui there for the magistrate court in the paddock, beside the popos. That's where you have it, not not somewhere else. Run by like Hedwood he says, a pack of monkeys. Hmm? He's right. He's dead right. Because his brain has been through it all. No big mouse talking on a marae, trying to put something across, being in the Maori party, in the Mana party, all that rubbish is, Maori is no good in this world because it belongs to the Pakehas. Right? The dupas, the pirates made that up. Made all the, the things Maori up, Maori land court, Maori titles, Maori this and that. Because I've got them all here. I've got all the married titles here and the birth certificates. Right? That's how they make money out of you, stupid lot of people. Can't figure it out. Can't figure it out. Well, that's why I'm so annoyed with you people. Just sit there and tell me you only got five minutes and expect to learn things. There's more people overseas in Britain watching you fellows. Skip it. And they understand what I say. Because it's plain, simple. Not going around making lists on boards. That's not the time to do a confederations meeting. You're supposed to do it at home, not come and do it in the classroom inside the whare. That day, that these days that we talk there, people travel there to hear sense, not to go and start drafting up things. It's all in these books here. Look, here's the whole whakaminia is in here. It's Black and white, it's in here. The whole thing was set up by those two Here, everything on the fucking menu. Okay. And you fellas have been playing around on that side and you expected just Johnny come lately and jump into this sort of thing. No. You got a lot to learn, Kenny Fellow. I'm just telling you straight. The only one in your family that's listening is Kahi. He knows because he's like me. We don't beat around the bloody bush. Positioned by Kim Williams. Everything's in here. And then how to do it. All the instructions. You think I'm going to do it? No. I'm here to save this bloody land. But, right? Because the money cars went to go and sell it off. Because if they didn't, it was going to get sold anyway. But at least they left a stake in the ground to say that we are the ones who are in it. So there we are. Regional States Parliamentary Standing Orders. Everything is in here. Only in that much pages. Right? And King William's Laws, only in 19A4 pages. That's it. Nothing complicated about that, in all your laws and what you do. Maori Party and Mana Party. You haven't got the numbers. You have not got the numbers to do it. The numbers are online. If you can't come on to line and you don't want to get involved with internet and all the rest of it, I'm sorry, that's where it is. Everything's there. Like Trump, he gets a tweet right across and he gets, boom, straight out that minute. Otherwise the opportunity is lost. You miss if nobody knows. Now we're online. I put this online so people can see how stupid this country is and the Maoris. Going round, round, round in circles because... That's the way you, you're driven to, to go around and around in circles until you find you don't want to go around and around in circles. And you're the one that's making it go that way. And your stupid little parties. 
But I'm, I'm saying that because the old people have had enough. Anyone who's had enough, and all those other ones, I can see the look on their face, they've had enough of this stupid me meetings going on and the trust, meetings in the trust. The trust, I've watched the trust, the Waitangi Trust, I've watched it all these years, and I was involved with it, with Hare Utsutonga. I've got all these titles here. One house, hit me anybody, one house on the whole bloody place, right? One house, and that's the title to that whole Waitangi block. And I see your names on it, you fellows on the other side. I know who's on who on that land. Got it here. No argument. Won't win in any court. That's what I'm saying. You don't know real estate as well as I do. I'm saying that because I've been in real estate to know what I'm doing with it. Right? I haven't even got one piece of land back yet, but when it comes, the whole lot comes. And so that's what we're going to do, uh, Bundy. <coughs> we're going to, I'm going to fashion you guys around what you should have been doing long ago and so that you are stuck to the land. Not I don't I don't need the land. I just need to fire up the projects and the resources. You can look after the land and look after it better than what's been done to it now. And you're missing out on all the best pieces of land is because the stupid meetings that Hinivar is in it's not going to get anywhere because she's there to upset it on the iwi side. I can tell, I know, I can tell, I'm not blind. I can see why she does the meetings like that and just dis destroys everything. Walks in there and pounces around in Waitangi. And I think, oh, there it goes. It's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to flop. And it did flop. And the next minute, arguments. Set up to fail. You don't know anything, Hinifari, about business. You have been through being self-employed to know how to run a business. You better to go and grow kumaras and learn how to do it like that fellow, what's his name, Smith. Um, um, what's his name? Lucky's, Lucky's son. Yeah, go and, go, and, go, and, go and do that instead of talking. Leave the talking to those other fellows like Cock Gregory. They know they know a thing or two. And they don't say much, but they know what to do. They're the Confederation guys, right? They just stay out of the way because it's a waste of time going and talking in there. A load, load of crap. That, that's worse than propaganda. Well, that's all I need to say for now. Bundy, <coughs> we just get on with it. The sooner I've got you fellows gone, the better. Well, we're just waiting on soon now. And she knows more about the Confederation than anybody. Anybody. She knows more about the Confederation than anybody. She knows all this stuff. She knows what I do. She knows this fucking and stuff back to the front. Right? She's a politician. She's been there, done that, been to the UN, been everywhere, been to the Harvard, been in, they've done that. You see? But she still needs support in some way or another with this flag. Because the flag, unfortunately, belongs to the 13 chiefs. That's it. Nobody else. Not going around the countryside picking signatures up. That's rubbish, anybody. That's all rubbish. You can't do it. You've got corrupted system you're playing with. It's corrupted. I'm telling you straight in the face. It's corrupted. Making a treaty of Waitangi go around around picking signatures up a year later. In the 1835, when it's already founded. It's already, this country's already founded in Tiki in 1831 with the birth certificate. Okay, that's the title. That's the title. And then the 1834, up it goes straight to Britain. Now, it's still there. It's still there. But you so blind that you're leading everybody else blind. I'm making this video because I'm annoyed with you and dragging everybody off that should really have this information. I'm trying to give you something for free, you stupid. Don't want to say it. But you, the, all the stuff I've got belongs to you. People up there who are so stupid not to see it. Because you don't go to school. You don't go to real estate school. You don't go to a bank school, broking school, and all those sort of things. So that's where I went to broking school and banking school to learn how to do it. See? You think you know, but 
try and appease to the whole world. To, uh, anybody, go online and show your face to the whole world, like I do, and see how far you get with your attitude and your way of doing things and see how many people you can get behind you. I've got a big whole swag of people watching what I do and taking an interest in it because it's there for everybody who can see. Okay, that's all I want to say for now. I've said my piece, so I'll get on with it. Okay, bye for now. See ya.